the void! Please, please! Yes! Oh. Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I'm gonna talk about some stuff. This is a commentary video. Bah! My throat! Okay. And today, I am still doing my, um, Bed Wars win in one day challenge. I have 22 wins so far, it's been three hours. I'm hoping to pick up the pace a bit because if I were to do, uh, what is that? Three times, what, seven would be about 21 hours? So seven times, uh, oh no, I'm still on track actually. Oh crap, all right, I just gotta keep the pace up I guess. I am still on track, that's awesome. Anyway, today I am gonna be talking about a funny story involving scouts. So yep, it's another funny scout story, oh yeah. And today, this is an unconventional thing that we did in the scouts, all right? We went and did a camp out on a battleship. Yeah, we we freaking played on a battleship of all things. Played on a battleship. Well, we did kind of. But yeah, we went and camped out at the USS Massachusetts. Pretty freaking cool being able to sleep on a boat like dude this is the coolest thing i was super young back in the day so i didn't really get to do much of anything other than go to school play video games eat crap sleep and drink water and all that so it was pretty cool getting to hang out on a boat for like two days get out of here so anyway yeah we went to the uss massachusetts um shout out to troop 38 by the way uh awesome group of kids slash people whatever uh, kids are people um but yeah awesome group of kids which are now adults i guess if you can call me an adult <laughs> call me an adult that's funny nah uh, now green team's gonna be coming for me basically constantly that, 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 that's just great you know this is what i want from bed wars is just to freaking stall people out and like freaking fight them on bridges oh yeah i'm the best part of bed wars it makes me wonder why the bridge is a game mode considering bridge fighting is probably the least enjoyable part of bed wars i don't know what they were thinking i don't know either way what are you doing are you gonna try to prank me I ain't your average stupid Bed Wars player that just jumps in front. No, 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 Don't do that. Trust me, it's not gonna work out in your favor. Anyway, um, yeah. So it's just funny. We went to the uh, the USS Massachusetts. It was really cool. So first off, before we did any campouts, we just kind of visited the place. You know, the whole troop just kind of goes there. We did. We walk in and we see this huge ship. And there's all this historical stuff, too. Like, there's a whole bunch of mannequins set up. Really creepy, by the way. And a bunch of little TV screens playing on loop. Some, like, informative, like, info... Or, like, a documentary type thing. About the history of the boat. What people did in those times. You know, interesting stuff. Like, you know, World War II and stuff like that. It was an interesting visit. So, I had a good time. You would think a kid my age wouldn't give a crap about history. But that was still kind of cool. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, thank God his bed went down. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Now I can fight you and get rid of you before you become a big problem. You're going to be in that base. I'm going to TNT jump to you and then immediately kill you. Anyway, yeah. So we went and visited the USS Massachusetts. Uh, all the, uh, you know, video screens and stuff. So then it got... Um, actually, there's one thing that was really funny that happened during the day. We were eating lunch at one point, and my friend Matt, we were just talking, and I don't remember what I said, but I said some really funny joke as he was, like, drinking his root beer float, and he starts, like, dying laughing as he's sipping this root beer float, and it just explodes out of his nose in the most hilarious way possible, and I start dying laughing, and I had water, so <laughs> nothing happened, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, but at the same time, that's hilarious. It was great. I like how this guy invited me to a game. No. Stop. Where even is your base? What the frick? You are far away. What have you been doing all game when I killed two beds? Well, no, not two beds. Got two final kills. Oh, yeah. This dude's actually really dangerous. <laughs> Let's just... Oh. You're going to be a thing. No, in the void. I'm not ready for you yet. I need to get rid of this dude. <laughs> so anyway, 
it got dark, you know, it was starting to get night. So it turns out, I was like, hey, we're hanging out on a, on a boat. I don't need no friggin' sleeping bag because we're gonna be on a boat nice and sheltered inside. We never get to do this. You serious? I hate this map. But yeah, so I, I didn't bring a sleeping bag. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be nice and heated. It'll be at least 70 degrees. It's gonna be nice and toasty. And we're just gonna stay in there all nice and comfy in the boat because we're always out in the woods when we camp. So it's just like, you know, freezing cold. One of the um, campouts is literally called the Freezery. So that puts in perspective. We usually, you know, rough it. Are you kidding me? You're definitely going to be an obby guy. But I'm more worried about you because you can actually fight. Mm. Goodbye. I really want to get rid of pink now because they're going to have Abby and they're going to be very annoying. Abby on air show is so toxic. Oh my God. Okay, good. You got armor. Bye. He has Abby. Are you serious? I can't see him. Where is he? Where, 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 what, what, what? I'll just let him kill me. Really? This game. And now, this guy's probably coming from my bed. Uh, why are people so annoying? Anyway, it got dark. Um, we had adventured around for a long time. Things got real creepy on the boat because it was really quiet. Like, really, really, really silent. Nothing going on in the background. Absolutely just complete silence. And then um, <clears throat> we're just adventuring around, right? And it's just like these mannequins talking to us and these screens talking to us, but there's no people there. So I'm not like a, an apocalypse movie. Like you would think with Fallout and stuff, how there's like these robots and like these things that are still going after all these years, but you're the only person there. There's no actual people. Where'd Aqua go? Are you serious? You're going to fight me. Please tell me he's going for your bed. That would be great. I'm going straight for aqua bed. I don't care at this point. Oh, you're right there. Okay. Hmm. He fell in the void. This is my chance. The other guy disconnected for some reason. Not quite sure why. Don't care. In the void! Please, please! Yes. Oh. Taking your crane. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Yes. I'm a Bed Wars god. Yes. I win the game. Oh, thank you. Have nice day. I'm taking this so I can get to myself the, the diamond tours. Thank you. Let's go. Oh my god. That was annoying. All right. Well, now I can actually talk about my story. So night came. Things stayed just as quiet as they were during the day. Except now it was even creepier because all the light was artificial. You couldn't tell day from night. It looked exactly the same as it did during the day. Except now there were no tourists. And since we had the exclusivity of camping out on the battleship, literally there was nobody, no staff. There was no tourists. It was just the scouts. And everybody was grouped in one area. And then I decide I'm just going to adventure around all by myself on a creepy boat with a bunch of mannequins and there's nothing there. So that was freaking, that was scary. I was just walking around. I got lost at one point in like an area I had, didn't know existed. This boat was huge. It was supposed to hold like probably over 100 people, probably hundreds of people. So it was just, it was weird. And I was lost for a long time. I found my way back and then everybody was going to bed. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna just lay down the cot. And it got cold. <laughs> you would think it's inside, right? So it's not gonna get cold. No, I was wrong. It dropped into the freaking 50s inside of this boat. They turned off the heat. 
and it was on the water. It was a big metal boat. So it lost all its heat, like almost immediately to the water. And it got freaking freezing cold. And everybody had their sleeping bags on top of their cots, all nice and organized, nice and warm. Everybody had exactly what they need. And all I had was an extra change of clothes for the next day. So I just draped the extra clothes over my body and was just sitting on my cot shivering. And then at some point, like two hours later, I was like, you know, I can't sleep. Also, you just got an iron sword in the beginning of the game. Why do you do that? That, that is not a smart decision for the future, my friend. If you survived that fight, what, what would you do? You'd have an iron sword, but you wouldn't have a bed or gaps or armor. I don't know, man. Anyway. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it was freaking bad. I was freezing cold. There was nothing I could have done. I, I was just desperately, like, freezing cold and couldn't do anything. So then, at one point, I get bored. And we were actually camping out in a room that... Of course, there's no room specifically for people camping out. So we were in a room that was one of the displays. And it was... Um, it was one of those where... I think there was a scene of a family eating what looked like 50s food. I don't know why. There was, like, a wife cooking or something. And there was a bunch of fake plastic food on the table. <laughs> Flawless. That's gotta suck. <laughs> and I just kind of sat there and stared at it. Because I had nothing to do. Because I was so completely freezing cold that I couldn't do anything. Okay, Red, don't even think about it. Don't even think about going for my bed right now. Please do not. Do not go for my bed right now. I'm going to avoid as soon as I get blue. <clears throat> if I get blue. Because he did just die, so he's going to be here. Yeah, come on. There we go. Oh, nice. He didn't avoid. What? Oh, wait, maybe he did, but he just went over. Yeah. Alright. Red, please don't be going for my bed. Please don't. There's a good chance he is. I don't have a trap either, so if I... If he breaks my bed at the wrong time, I'm gonna just die. Okay, I died. That's fine. We okay. Okay, he definitely didn't, because I don't see any pathways to get to my base. Thank goodness. But yeah, so I just kind of explored the boat. At one point, I got out of the area where we were, and I just kind of explored the boat for a little while. It's all by myself. Creepy dark place. Or not even dark, but, you know, badly lit, which it always is. And since it's inside the boat, it's, like, completely isolated from the outside world. It was freaking creepy. It was a very creepy night. Luckily, I'm not, I'm not someone that believes in superstition, so if anyone died on the boat or whatever, I don't care, dude. Spirits aren't going to be chasing me in my opinion but like it it felt really eerie and i just didn't like it at all so i just kind of i stayed up almost all night until i eventually just passed out on the cot out of pure exhaustion even though i was freezing cold and i woke up and um yeah we, we left <laughs> so you know just kind of not the most exciting ending but boy was it a freaking creepy boat just imagine staying in a tourist spot, like an exhibit, for a long time. That's eight emeralds. Um. Okay, let's go for the bed that's easier, and it's definitely white. Surprised you don't- oh, he does have a trap. <laughs> no! I threw my, I threw the emeralds. Of course, he had to fireball me. He couldn't just try to hit me like a normal person. He had to freaking fireball me. All right. Fine. I don't know if those emeralds dropped on the freaking uh, island or not. If they did, I need to kill that bed immediately or else it's going to be Avi. I know it for a fact. These kind of noobs that don't leave their, their island in Diamond Island. No, 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 no. He got armor with it. Okay. So he did get the... Mm. That makes me freaking mad. <laughs> Pink is like all pissed. Oh, that's hilarious. Let's see if I can win this fight now. Don't you dare fireball. No! 
No, 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 in the void. Bye. And dead. <laughs> yeah, you got what you freaking deserve, dude. Fireballing me off. That is the least honorable way to get a kill. I do it all the time, but, you know, I usually get what's coming to me afterwards. Don't be too happy, Pink. You're next. <laughs> you did you see how fast I killed that man? What? You're still on the island. Still on the island. Still on the island. No, 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 no. You're supposed to fall in the void. Here's how it's gonna go. He's gonna jump in here, and I'm gonna kill him. Well, leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed that story. That was a fun one. <laughs> Me freaking not being prepared and just freezing inside of an empty, creepy boat. And making my friend snort up <laughs> soda. <laughs> well, anyway, make sure to hit the video in the top right-hand corner where I talk about getting attacked by bees on the highway. It was weird. <laughs>